Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Jordan Van Forest and Magnus Carlsen. This is a game from Tata Steel Masters Tournament played in 2019. Jordan Van Forest had white pieces and he started with e4. Magnus Carlsen played c5 at the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6. D4, C takes on D4, Knight takes on D4, Knight to F6, Knight to C3, E5, the Sveshnikov variation. Knight from D to B5, D6, Knight to D5, Knight takes on D5, E takes on D5, attacking the Knight. Knight to E7, C4, Knight to G6, Queen to A4, threatening a discovered check. Bishop to d7, queen to b4. Forrest repeated Caruana's move from World Chess Championship 2018. Probably he found some improvements somewhere because Caruana didn't do well with this opening. Queen to b8, the same as in the game with Caruana. h4, h5. Bishop to e3, a6, knight to c3. So, until now, we follow the game Fabiano Caruana, Carlsen Welches Championship Rapid Playoff Game 2. The link to that game is available in the description below the video. It is white to move. In the game against Caruana, Carlsen played a5. In this game, he played f5. One forest castled queenside. Bishop to e7. G3. And the Carlsen castled kingside. Bishop to e2 attacking the pawn on h5. How to defend the pawn? Carlsen played e4, intending a knight to e5. Why to move? Bishop to d4. Well, bishop takes on h5 should have been considered. And after knight to e5, bishop to e2, defending d3 square. Bishop to d4 was played. Bishop to f6. Bishop takes on f6. Rook takes on f6. White to move. Again, white has a chance to take the pawn on h5. And again, it seems like a sensible move. And after knight to e5, Bishop to e2. We don't know why one forest didn't take the pawn. Queen to b6 was played. Knight to e5. King to b1. And now bishop to e8. Defending the pawn on h5. And perhaps intending bishop to g6 in some variations. Aiming at the white king. Rook to d2. Knight to d7. Queen to d4, queen to c7, improving the position of the queen. Knight to d1, knight to e5, knight to e3. Black to move, f4 was played, opening the file for the rook. g takes on f4, rook takes on f4, threatening rook takes pawn on f2. Rook to g1, black to move, bishop to g6 was played. If rook takes on f2, then queen takes on e4. So, Carlsen first defending the pawn on e4. At the same time, the bishop is extraying the king on b1. King to a1, black to move. And now Carlsen follows the general rule, which is your worst place piece. And how can you bring it in the game? The worst placed piece is rook on a8. Rook from a to f8 was played. c5. Rook takes on f2. Queen to c3. Queen to c5. Black won a second pawn. White's idea was to create a dangerous pass pawn on the d-file. Let's see if it's going to work. Queen takes on c5. D takes on c5. 
d6 king to h7 d7 black to move how to stop the pawn what would you do please pause and find the best move for black what did you find did you find the rook to d8 this is not a bad move but Carlson played a better move so strong that one forest resigned and the move is knight to f3 one forest resigned if pawn is pushed and promoted to queen then rook takes queen rook takes rook rook takes on e2 now attacking the knight and the rook on g1 is under attack let's say rook to c1 rook takes on e3 and let's play a few more moves rook to f8 knight takes on h4 white can't take the pawn on c5 because there is a problem at the back rank a3 perhaps b6 if rook to b8 rook to b3 if king to a2 bishop to f7 white would suffer a lot and lose and what else can white do let's go back if in this position bishop takes on f3 then rook takes rook and again black is easily winning what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now